All right, so we're in Spectral Workbench now, and I'm going to show you how to do a calibration. So there are different kinds of calibration, but we're going to look at um, spectral calibration today, which means uh, whether these values along the x-axis, which stand for the wavelength of light at any, any point along the graph, whether those are, are correct, um, or whether it's shifted left or right. So um, I'm looking at a xenon lamp right now, but see how this is kind of a very vague shape, we can't really pinpoint uh, things that easily. So what we do for calibration is we use a compact fluorescent light. And fluorescent lights have got a really discrete spectrum. So as I put this under here, you'll see these very distinct lines showing up. And uh, we can use those to calibrate because they're extremely stable. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then um, I'll type CFL, and I've done this before, so I got these queued up here. And then down here, where it would have given me an automatic calibration from a previous one, I'll just say new. And I'll go ahead and save it. And uh, you can see here that uh, the lines have come through. And then we're going to try to clean up this interface and automate some things. But basically, you, gotta, you have to look down here and, and click calibrate. It could be on the other side, actually. It's wrapping. But uh, it'll tell you to look for the middle blue band. There's three of them. So I'll click right there. And then the great bright green band. Now, usually that's a, a single peak, but I think uh, our reading there isn't super good today. Um, but once I've clicked, it reloads the page, and it's actually done the calibration. So because these lines are so distinct, uh, this is a, a very uh, easy way for anyone who has a spectrometer to just point it at a fluorescent light and get the calibration. Um, and now I'm going to uh, reopen and uh, make sure it's got the right camera. And now it's actually using that most recent calibration. If we go ahead and we switch back to, uh, you know, uh, a xenon light, and we hit save, it'll actually it'll it'll point out that um, the calibration is only one minute old. So it'll tell us we can we can use that calibration. So there you go. Um, this is calibration, the special workbench.